YouTube. So it's Red Dreads and my name is Marilyn. So today we're going to be talking about dreadlocks and other various cultures. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the origins or perceived origins of dreadlocks. So for starters, uh, from what I've researched, uh, the earliest uh, Hinduism, the Vedic scriptures, provide the earliest known evidence of dreadlocks. Now, they were worn in India by the sadhus, or the holy men. The nagas are followers of the god Shiva, and they wear their locks, which they call jyata, above their head and let them down only for special occasions and rituals. It's a religious practice as it's a disregard for vanity. So that's interesting. So in ancient Egypt, examples of Egyptians with log styles and wigs have appeared on artifacts. Ancient Egyptians, ancient Greeks, East Mediterranean, North Africa, Sumerians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Hittites, Amorites, Persians are depicted in art with dreads. Over half of the uh, sculptures, Greek, Greek, uh, surviving Greek sculptures, have dreadlocks. And we also, I've seen a statue with a Spartan warrior with dreadlocks. So pre-Columbian Aztec priests wore their hair in dreadlocks. And uh, the Polish, uh, you could see this picture of, uh, it's a Polish plate, a palika. Okay, in Africa, the Ma Maasai warriors wore their hair in locks using red ochre to dye their hair. So various cultures, what is known as shaman or spiritual men and women, often wear locks. In Nigeria, being born with locks is called a dada. So the Rastas developed this look. They've taken the Nazarite vow from the Bible. So in Buddhism, for many practicing Buddhisms, uh, Buddhists, it is a way to let go of material vanity and excessive attachments. The Rastafatari locks are symbolic of the Lion of Judah. Their dreadlocks are inspired by the Bible Nazarites. And uh, Bob Marley being the most known Rastafatari. So something interesting is that uh, there's a lot of native chiefs that have been depicted wearing dreadlocks. Cree, like me. I've got Cree blood. And, uh, yeah, that's, if you can see, that's quite, quite interesting. So, from Western culture, from Whippy Goldberg to Jack Sparrow to Christian Dior, dreads are popular in Western culture. So, uh, along with cyberpunks and cyber goths, the misfits with their, covering their front face, deathlock. And, uh, yeah. So I hope all this information is informative and interesting as I had found it. And I hope that you're having a great one and we'll talk at you again.